Hey guys, Thoughts Claw here with Pikmin 2. It's Friday, April 15th at 6.02 a.m. Oh, Pikmin 2, my preferred favorite game of the series. Until the next game, so hopefully they don't put a time in Pikmin 3. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. I don't know. Maybe they'll show something at E3 this year, hopefully. Hearing rumors of a new console being announced. Wow. Imagine if they announced, announced it and they released it and then they suddenly released Pikmin 3 for the next. I'll be pissed because I got we you know, for like Pick 3, Skyward Sword, uh. You know, a lot of other games. Anyway, we're gonna begin. I have already have saved. So this was a friend save. This was mine. So we need treasures. You know, treasure that's the game is different. And um the time play time. Um I I tend to back when I originally played uh fall asleep while playing. So yeah, it artificial. It a lot of it was just sitting there, basically. Anyway, we're gonna start the game. There's gonna be intros. Octave Freight is a long haul deep space shipping company. One day it's only employee <laughs> by any merit. Captain Olmar remember got hit crashed on an uncharted planet. Well goddamn tax. There he was aided by indigenous creatures was called he called Pikmin. In the end, Captain Olmar escaped. But Olimar is absent, his employee ran into financial difficulties. I'm, I, I'm trying to read fast, so if I make any mistakes, you know, pronounce something wrong, and yeah, blame the text speed. Olimar, tech game loud. Holy shit. It looks like a desert planet. Look at that, it looks like a desert planet. Nice ring, so... Present of, uh, okay, free. What do I, what? what? Gas they fucking breathe, since oxygen is apparently toxic. Lama, I'm so glad you're safe. Very, very glad. Quite glad. Sadly, but I have an announcement. This is not so glad. Our company is going under. Yes, we're finished. On this first, his first mission loot here may. Oh, Goddamn text. And his entire load of golden big, big banana carrots was eaten. Just. Yeah, I took out an enormous loan to repay the debit from this loss. I decided to sell off corporate assets to repay the loan. I repaired that f fucking f f ship. At least that we had to sell was your ship. I guess it's a dolphin for the rest of our loan. Oh god. We made some pay. Lomar, this way is that? You brought that back as a souvenir for your kid? I remember when we picked that up. Treasure, treasure, money, 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 yeah. Dude. Can you sell that ship? Treasure, this artifact is worth... 100 points. This thing is worth 100 points? That's more than a year's salary. Holy shit. Look at his eyes. What? There are more on that planet? He can repay our debit. Louis, you don't look alive. You... Ah. It's Captain Olimar. Whatever. I think I should turn down the volume. A little too loud. Pikmin was a little quiet, so... That's why I'm just a little higher. I need to turn it down for this video. Where did I go? We're here. This ship looks like shit. Oh, 
And we have to survive another 30 days. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Valia repose. Pose. You know, whatever. We're flying, we're flying, we're gonna crash land, maybe I don't know. Eh, get rid of the guy over there, you know? Boogie. He can stay over there, I don't care, we don't need him. <laughs> Breeze, that was close. I have a uh, Verdery Crash Land Rang Diagnostics. Alert, danger, Louis is missing. He must have somehow fallen out of his cockpit. He is not responding via his communicator. He is either faltering protocol or in danger. Almar, you must find Louis before. He freezes to death in this cold of this planet. In the cold of this planet, I'm wrong. Wait a moment, look! Yes, yeah, Pikmin are kicking the uh, Mulpin ass. Could these Pikmin be Pikmin? They look like they are about to devour this. Devour. Oh, no, God damn it, I can't even read right now. Could these be Pikmin? They look like they are about to be devoured as we speak. You must help them quickly. Press B to call them with. Basically, it's running through the tutorial again. Oh, yes. I know, dude. I played Pikmin like a couple days ago. Do do do. And they're staring into your soul. Captain Pikmin ran to your side. They seem to remember you, Captain Omar. How fascinating. Give them instructions and do not delay. Hold A to yep. Listen, sorry. Right. It's basic tutorials. Yes. You can't eat my guy, okay? Oh shit, oh shit. I don't know what happens if you let them eat them all, but. I'll be in Come on, dude. Oh, Crawl's trying to get used to it again. I guess it just ignores them. <laughs> Let me guess. They're dead. They're gonna carry. Ooh, we need... can't go any further. Attention, Captain Olmar, I have just researched my communications link with Louis. Lure, whatever, whatever. It is fortunate we have managed to confirm his safety. Press Y to com communicate with him. I am quite interested in detail, the details of his condition. Yes, uh... Why? Control changes between the two guys. Lee, allow me to assess your condition as per, as per our safety protocols. Are you all... are you at all injured? Is that so? Then my concerns are eased. Our communications link shows you're nearby. You're nearby. Can you make your... Sorry, location, rejoin us. I will never get you. Yes, yes, yes. There's far more reading in this game than the last game. Yeah, here's the pause meadow. Items. Well, now there's a lot of other items. We can go to sunset, which can't. And there's a grand total. Um, here's the map. Works better. It's faster, actually. There's a zoom and everything. See how fast that was? His in the first game was fucking slow. Leader onion and free. His whistle's different. And I'm gonna be doing this game a lot better than I did in one. I didn't really think about editing much, you know. In Pikmin 1 I just basically talked over things like um 
breaking down a wall building bridges bringing items to our ship parts items whatever which I will be cutting months out I, I, enemy fights if it did take like more than like a minute or something yeah I might cut short right, before you appears to be one of the onions mentioned in Olmar's report <laughs> Look at his eyes. The seed the onion ejected just sprouted. According, according to Walmart's report, it can be plucked with A. Look at his eyes. Oh man, it's funny. Oh, He's staring into a Louis, uh, soul. Louis, this must be one of the Pikmin creatures from Olimar's report. It is staring at you into your soul. Do not allow it. Anyway, you can use C to issue objectives to your Pikmin squad and even directly their, direct their movements. You can be disbanded squad with X. Interesting. Olimar's description of the creatures resembling Pik Pik carrots was striking. Accurate. Louis, my senses have detected drool in the corner of your mouth. Are you alright? <laughs> I wonder what the drool's made out of. It can't be water or liquid. Because apparently oxygen is toxic, so in a way, water is hydrogen and oxygen H2O, you know? So, would water be lethal to. Um, you know, Louis and all of our um, species. Oh, he's right away from it. He, he knows he's a, the Pikmin wants to consume him, consume his soul. Run away! Anyway, we need to get gain some Pikmin. Six, we have six here. We, yeah. Oh, this must be boring. Oh, yep, basically tutorial. The joys of tutorials. The onion ejected more seeds. The pellet from that flower must hold nutrition that breed Pikmin. Yes, Pikmin gather nutrition nutrients, hold them to the onion, and further propagate the species. The onion is a Pikmin mothership. It's aliens! Reviewing all of our reports, it seems repeatedly tapping a blah 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 blah. And I want to show you one thing that makes this game a lot better than Pikmin. Let's wait till that uh, Pikmin brings it there. Goes the uh, boop. You fall in, and pretty much instant. It's there up. It was. It took longer for them to come up in Pikmin One. So we needed to gather around ten, I believe. Do, 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 do. Okay, thank you. No, get back here, man. Anyway, we're gonna go and pick these up. You know, one more. Uh, tutorial uh, uh, videos, you know, they're kind of annoying. And what is that over there? It's a Duracell. Great. Advertising. Perhaps this object is one of the treasures that we are searching for. The only reason we found it here is because of this is where you crash landed. How fortunate! I would like to pra praise it, but you must regroup the with Almar first. Can you see him? Press L. 
pretty much this game has treasures, okay? The treasures are used either generic or actually brand name items in real life. There's an item in this game, of course. I will show you when I get it, but I had my friend actually had a, the item in real life. Of course, there are cells. These are common. You know, these are, I think. Hold on. This is a D cell. Yes, D cell. Yep, a D cell. Anyway, we're busy with other stuff, you know, because we got um, a new thing. The bags are not sideways anymore. They're up and down, you know. How will you fix this? We need f Editing! Yes! What about over here? Come on. That one requires 35. Okay, I'm gonna be editing. I'm gonna be turning here. Because I need fit a few more and I don't have that much. Anyway, I'm back. Okay, one, you want to put these guys up here, you know. Then, switch Olimar! And like, the first day in the first game, there's no time limit here, so I just get everything you can. Basically bring the body to the all. Um, I mean, so yeah. Captain Omar, Louis, you are reunited at last. This has been a troublesome start to our trip. But now you must feel assured that your combined wits can get you through anything, correct? From now on, you need B to form a single group. Use X to take solo actions and Y to change leaders. Basically, we're on um, here, and we're gonna take the body of the bubbling, whatever you wanna call it, and, um, we're gonna go and get the ball item back, you know, like, things like doors, not doors, um, uh, bags are easy, you just toss items and it's instant, you know, it doesn't take time, you know, you just toss to to items, I mean, Pikmin, but, uh, walls, like, vine walls, um, bomb, wait, I don't, no, I don't think Pikmin have bomb rocks in Pikmin 2 doesn't have pop marks. Yeah, there's some changes. Pikmin's types are changed. Yellow, blue, I think stays the same. But, um, yellow is different. In a way, it doesn't mean different. Basically, we want to get this item. And items like, uh, once we, you know, the formation and stuff, I will shut up. Well, we need 20. It's a good thing we're taking the body. Anyway, um,. Like, from now on, like, if I'm bringing an item that's taking a long time, like, from here, you know, it takes time, it's waste of time, you know. I'll shut up and cut it out to the part, point it's over there already, you know. I poorly did Pikmin, Pikmin, you know, I did it poorly in editing terms. I should have think ahead and actually, um, edit, you know, on. You know, think ahead, door, you know, not a door, I keep going on doors. Obstacles like, um, vine fences, you know? I will shut the fuck up and cut it out till it, when it's down, you know? Oh, and he will go out and, um, pick him up anyway. Uh, with you. It's, you know, pluck him. Anyway, here's the first example of editing. I'm gonna go and get pick this up. And there you go. I'm gonna uh, see you back at the ship. And we're back. There he is. That's like two years worth. Almost around two and a half. It's almost three years worth of a yearly salary on, um, Okotate. Wow. Our first day of exploration has yielded our first treasure. We'll be we'll be done in record time. 
I took the liberty of naming it when I praised it. The name reflects my current thinking. Leave it to me to think of catchy names for hit products it is but one of my many talents. We shall end our first day here and report back to our president. His face will be sh sure will surely be joyous. Have to be to communicate with Hoptate, we must fly into low orbit above the planet. We, he, we will not return to the surface until morning, so as to avoid the indigenous nocturnal creatures. There we go, um, yeah, the one is done, hopefully there will be a few more tutorial things, but pretty much we're almost done with full tutorials anyway. And the thing that makes this game awesome, I don't need to be rushed. I don't have 30 days to beat the game, I have unlimited. Pretty much I was rushed in Pikmin. Drives me nuts, that's why I don't like that game as much as Pikmin 2. It's not a bad game, but it's, um, frustrating. Because of the time limit, I'm not talking about the time limit during the day, it's the time limit during the overall 30 day, you know. We got, uh, 280, which I can use that for, uh, ooh, game, 20, you know. Here is deaths. There's different types of ways way to die. Battle, sunset, fire, water, electricity is a new thing. Explosion and poison. Well, explosion exists in uh, the last game, but poison is new. We're gonna see that eventually. Oh, I went back. There, B, press the back. There we go, again. Mail. You found your first bit of treasure. Fine work. Your future depends on your efforts, so check your treasure hold regularly. Regularly. I'll check in often. Keep up the pace. Save. Yes, I want to fucking save. Oh boy. And the first day is done. This is day two. There's two things here that adds to this game a lot better. Why is it taking so long to get to this screen? Oh, uh, thank you, Desk, I was gonna say. Uh, let's see, used. Uh, Pellet Palsy, Palsy. Life Dorf Red Bulb Orb. Okay, this is best because the first game, we really don't really get much anything to know about the names of your enemies, pretty much. Um, here, you have full screen, and you guys will, you know, run over and eat the carrots. Yeah, so, this feature's awesome, and then X, you get all Mars. Um, no, sometimes you get Louis notes, too. This is notes are actually funny. We'll show them eventually. Um, Dorf Red Bulb Orb. And it's this, oh god, pseudo, right. Latin, it's like, take names, god damn it. It's like Donkey Kong 64 when you're getting a fucking potion. Red, uh, Bug Family. Though, anciently identified as a juvenile red bulb orb, groundbreaking new research in case this creature, this creature is in fact a member of the Red Bug Family. A close, uh, relative of the, uh, Red Bug. It escapes predation, predation, whatever, through a mimicry, mimicry. Unique adaptions of the red bulb orb, crimson coloration, allows the species to safely, whatever I can't remember, such an effective adaptation in duplication by a prey species is rare, indicating this clever creature is a master of mimicry. Yeah, and then there's palsy, palsy, whatever, I don't care how long this episode is, it's the first episode anyway. Pellet palsy, I'm gonna pull, I, remember it's great, I'm not gonna read the freaking Latin names like you, you know, pellet weed f family, in the stem of the pellet palsy, one can serve the muscle, muscle uh, fiber unique to half plant and half animal species such as the pigment. Pigment are hybrids, and uh, can be pop flowers, so the pellet palsy, oh, Pazzi is a species that can consider a close relative without the ability to crystallize nectar is unique to a small group of pellet weed. The pellet weed family, the fact that these plants reach maturity so quickly and that their pellets such, contain such high concentrations of natural nutrients in the soil explains why Pikmin and so many of the other religious, uh, religious whatever, species are so reliant on these, reliant, whatever, on these pellets of, um, substance. 
I will not be reading all of them. I decided to read for him. Uh, uh, treasure, see what the treasure. I might, I might not. We're gonna skim over like this, you know, like I do in Dead Space, in Dead Space 2. Where we covered our first treasure, amazing, Pikmin remember how to salvage it. I can't remember, understand the way I'm, I can't understand their, their moral language, and I don't know what they're thinking. Because I'm so happy to see them when I crashed on, crashed on this, um, planet. Pikmin helped me locate my missing parts parts in my darkest hour. The Pikmin were there for me. Now, that I'm united with them, I know everything will be alright. Well, it's, it will, alright, you know? Basically, this is a 20 fucking 8 minute video, it's probably really less, because I cleverly now understand to edit properly. Um, Day 2 will be in the next episode. Um, yeah, uh, as you can see here, Valley of Repose, Above Ground, 1, and then 3 question marks. We'll see that eventually. And uh, actually in a couple episodes, maybe. But, uh, we're ending this episode, 30 minutes, holy shit. I'm gonna try to convince it, or speed up my reading, actually. If I'm gonna read, I might just make them um, fast forward, you know, faster like by two or something. You know, like I usually do, you know, like more Galaxy Two and stuff. And I did a uh, purple coin missions and stuff like that, you know, something like that. You know, fast forward. Anyway, um, five three by three, I believe, fast five thirds speed, I believe. At least in my editor is at least you can understand me. But it's fast, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna shut up now and uh, end the episode. So, see you guys later. Bye.